Hello! Welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. We're inside the stitchery and we won't be for long. This video actually takes place in my bed while I'm in the basement. Uh, if you want to know all about that, the video is linked down below. I don't get a lot of views when I am not in the stitchery to begin with, so I just wanted you guys to know that we won't be in the stitchery today. The video is from my bed. I turned off all the dehumidifiers, okay? There shouldn't be any extraneous noise. And um, I'm gonna show you stuff I've made. Yes, I actually have things that I've made to show you. Um, I also have an announcement about a furls hook specifically. Uh, I have a brief, tiny story for you guys and a tiny bit of a yarn review. It's a bit of a mixed bag today. So um, join me for a fun Saturday video. Okay then. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so what did I crochet? Um, boop, obviously. What's that? Who's boop? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Boop is a bat. And he's a little shy. Come on. He's very small. This is Boop. He is extremely small and he is a little bat. Come on, we're approaching Halloween. I had to do a bat, you know that. So, this is Boop. He is my design. I love him so much. And uh, I call him Boop because, see his little nose? I kept going Boop. <laughs> Hence the name. Um, I also really like alliteration. <laughs> Boop the bat. So um, he is not hard to make. I don't know if I'm going to do a tutorial on him yet. You guys need to let me know how interested you are in Boop. If he gets a lot of love, a lot of love. Because I've already made a bunch of tutorials this fall. And um, that was a lot of work. But he isn't very hard to make. So if you guys really want a tutorial, let me know. But I was curious if I could make him bigger. Can you make a pattern bigger or smaller just by changing the hook? Every pattern? No, you can't. Boop is an example. He doesn't look like he'd be, but he is. So I made Blanca. This is Blanca. She is the same pattern. She is. However, Boop is small, so he can get away with a lot of things. One of the things he can get away with is being so short. Blanca, with the same number of rows, stopped about here. And then I was supposed to make her legs. Well, that didn't work. So, I had to first of all, increase her size because I didn't like his particular size in this yarn. It looked weird. So I gave her another row of increase and more rows of length. Plus I had to change her feet because now the number was different for her increase. So also her wings. <laughs> See his wings? Yeah. I had to give her longer wings. Otherwise, she'd be like that which is still cute don't get me wrong i mean that is still really cute just not what i wanted i like it when they can wrap their wrap their wings around them like that i think that's really cute and they hang upside down <laughs> so that's what i tried to do uh the yarn i used for her if you're interested is the juicy couture from joanne's I have a full review on this video coming up this month. I love it. It's so squishy. Yeah, spoiler alert, getting more of this. Fabulous yarn, great for amigurumi, just saying. I had to make quite a few changes. Also, I forgot to add safety eyes. <laughs> oh, I was making her and I stuffed her and then I closed her up and then I went, oops, I forgot to give her eyes. No worries little bit of chenille yarn and my false French knot tutorial did the job. 
And I actually think they're kind of pretty. I also pulled them in, so I don't know if you can see that her eyes are indented. Just to give her a little bit of shape. So, not a perfect double, but uh, only had to make minor tweaks to make it bigger. So, now I know. It needs tweaking in order to be bigger. Speaking of this yarn, I also used the non-fluffy, non-sparkly variety. It's all fluffy. Um, it feels like a cord. It's very strange. This is the Juicy Couture Luxe Velour. And uh, I was really nervous that it would get all over me. See that? That's the yarn bleeding on the label. But so far it hasn't gotten on me or my stuff. It's considered a five weight and it wants you to use a 6.5 millimeter hook. Same with this one. I used a four millimeter. In fact, I used my favorite four millimeter, my Odyssey. If you do not know the story of this hook, I will briefly give you a synopsis. <laughs> When I found out about the company Furls and decided to give them a try, I heard that I had to try Odyssey. I tried Odyssey, I got lots of advice from, from my friends on what I should get for Amagurumi. They told me 3.25. I got a 3.25 Odyssey hook, then I put it in my hook gauge. It was not a 3.25. In fact, it was a 3. I got an oops hook. They don't call it an oops hook and they've never had an oops Odyssey hook. But it was a mistake and nobody checked it. I never told them because I was a first time customer. I was embarrassed. So anyway, I got it in turquoise. About a year later, they had an Odyssey restock and my mom was like, you should get another turquoise hook and you should get it in your favorite size. So I did. I got it in turquoise, a four millimeter. Okay. They had changed the shaft by then into this and I was ecstatic because I really really liked how long it was. So I ordered a bunch of hooks in that order. In fact I have a video all about that. Um, you can also see my reaction when I opened the box. The four millimeter turquoise was the only hook I ordered with the original shaft. You can't tell exactly in that video because I edited it out but I was crushed. The fact that it was the only hook that didn't have the new shaft. So I talked to Furls. A few months later, I was trying to figure out what I should do. I was disappointed, and I told them what happened. And they said, well, we're not sure we can guarantee it, but if you send us the other hook, we'll try and send you something with the new shaft in a four millimeter. But I wanted my turquoise one, and what if I wasn't able to get another turquoise one? So I declined. A few more months passed and they had an Odyssey restock. And I wanna try one more time. Third time's the charm. I wanna try one more time. They just got a restock and one of the restock colors was turquoise. I thought, maybe. I gave it a chance. I ordered and it's perfect. It's turquoise, it has the new shaft and it's smooth like butter. Also, the sticker hasn't come off yet, and I've used this thing a lot, so, woo! I should tell you guys, though, uh, if you haven't heard, Odysseys are being discontinued. Sorry about that. So, yeah. If you want an Odyssey, go to the Furls website and see if they have any more. I learned all this on a live. I'm not an insider. I wish. Um, I, I just watch lives and take notes. <laughs> I did find out that they're going to do a like go through all of the odysseys that were imperfect and sell them at a discounted price. So they may have like a few nicks in the metal. Maybe the color, you know, has like bleeding in it or something, which I actually think could be kind of cool. Maybe the tip isn't as pointy, you know, something like that. If you want to look out for that, I don't know when that'll be. But then the odysseys will be gone forever. So anyway, I use this hook. That is the story of my hook, and that is why it means so much to me, and that's why it's my favorite. Good things, you know, are worth the wait. And my hook has a place of honor. I got it its own stand. <laughs>
it means a lot to me. <laughs> I like these stands, by the way. Um, whenever they have one of their really big sales, like their Black Friday or their birthday sale, if you have an Odyssey that you really love, get a stand for it. These things are awesome. Personally, I love them. They're great. Just an opinion of a furls lover. If you want to know why I love furls, I will link the video down below. Here we go. This is a Pill Pal Pet, also my creation. And this is a kitty Pill Pal Pet. So um, I decided to make, apparently um, also my hair. I decided to make a kitty Pill Pal Pet with it because it's a very simple design and I figured eh, it should be easy. It looks great. Look at the stitch definition, even in black yarn. It looks fantastic. So it wanted me to use a 6.5 and I used a four millimeter, zero issues. So um, I love how it came out. I think it's very cute. And the yarn was great to work with. But one tiny thing, this yarn makes my hands feel weird. Okay, I wouldn't call it an allergy. I wouldn't because when I have an allergy to something, I immediately turn bright red and itchy all over. Um, you should see me brush up against something made of wool. Even the tiniest amount of wool, I immediately break out into a rash. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, this yarn just makes me feel like barely itchy. Just barely. And it does not leave a rash or anything. I sneeze a little bit. It's not that bad. I still want to use it. I still think it's really nice. So just a heads up to people who are sensitive to certain fibers. This one, no reaction. Totally getting more of this. This is fantastic. Yeah, spoiler alert for my review. I love this, okay? And I would get more of this too. I really liked it. I, I, I liked using it and I think it turned out really cute. So I would say for Amakurumi, it's a yes, honestly. Um, it was not like using Burnett Velvet yarn. I really thought it would be, but it's not at all. It's like using a velvet tube. Very strange. It's a very strange feeling, but it's fun. So four millimeter hook, a Lux Velour yarn, and then worsted weight for the details. So if you want a Pill Pal Pet Black Cat tutorial, let me know down below. Thank you. So I made this the other day. Isn't it cute? It's just candy corn. I was making something else and I had yellow and orange yarn next to me and I went, fall, candy corn. Ta-da! If you want a tutorial on how to make this tiny little candy corn thing, because this is my pattern, I just made it up in my head. Um, if you want a tutorial for this little guy, you gotta let me know. He's very easy to make and he's very quick, so shouldn't take you long. I know there's lots of candy corn patterns and tutorials out there, so if you don't want him, I understand. But anyway, he's something I made, and that's what this video is, things I've made, so ta-da. Okay, I'll be honest, I wasn't gonna show you guys, but I gotta show you, because I want you to be hyped. I'm gonna show you a design that's going to be a tutorial in October, not September, but in October. I really hope you like him. This is Frank. He is one of my tots. He is a terror tot. I'm not gonna tell you what that is. You can learn more about that in October, but this is Frank. He is my design. He will be a tutorial. Do you like him? Isn't he cute? Best part, easy. This is not hard. If you are a beginner, he is so easy to make. So easy. In fact, he started off my whole thing for making tots. Timothy is the original tot, but he was not my first tot. My first tot was Frank. Not this one specifically, um, I don't have the original one with me, but um, I should find it for that video. Anyway, this is the guy that started it all. The flat head, the flat body. Yeah, he started it all. So are you guys excited for him? 
Are you going to make him when he comes out? There are more with the same vibe. So, if you stayed till the end of this video, you got to see Frank. If you like Frank or you watch till the end of this video, I don't really care which, green heart emoji in the comments somewhere down below. Because I don't really want people to who didn't watch to just read the comments and find out what happened in the video. No, 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 no. We don't do that here. You gotta watch the video. So no spoilers. Just put a green heart so I know you saw Frank and you watched till the end. Okay? And if you can't find the green heart, as always, you can write the word green heart. That is totally fine. Oh, hi. You didn't think I was done, did you? I have one more surprise for you. Do you remember a video when I told you that if you guys made sure that Teresa from Critters Crochet has a thousand subscribers before October 1st, I would do a special tutorial for you guys? She's pretty close, but she's still not there yet. But I wanted to show you that it wasn't just something I said. I already designed it. Oh yes, the Dobby Tot. Complete with pointy nose, pointy ears, little tie, for his little bag dress. And I do have a sock for him. I will include a picture here because my sock is missing, but I did make a sock. <laughs> if you know, you know. This is Dobby from Harry Potter, if you couldn't tell. If you wanna make one of your very own and you want a tutorial from me, Teresa needs a thousand subscribers before October 1st. Spread the word, spread the video linked down below about this, the original video, share her videos, go to her playlist, and just let it run so that she gets the proper hours she needs for monetization. She's a good person, a good crocheter, and just a wonderful, wonderful friend. I'm very proud and honored to call Teresa my friend. Teresa, I love you. I want to do this for you. I want you to get a thousand subscribers. I want you to have an amazing birthday. And I love you and the crochet community loves you too. Mwah. Dobby and I want her to get a thousand subscribers. Don't you? Let's get her a thousand subscribers. Spread that crochet goodness. Okay, let's do this. Oh, real quickly, I forgot to mention, Dobby has been pattern tested by two fabulous women. One, of course, is Teresa at Curtis Crochet, and one is Ashley at Gwinspired. I will link them both down below. You should subscribe to both of their channels because they are awesome and good friends of mine. So if you like my channel, you'll love theirs. I should probably go to my outro now. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you had fun. I hope you like my surprises. I hope you like my little creations and watch out for my yarn review videos very soon. Remember, life happens, yarn helps, and spoonies can stitch it up too. Goodbye. <laughs>